In this video, we will look at two examples to practice working with trapezoids. In example A, it says, look at trapezoid TRAP below. What is the measure of angle A? So we're trying to figure out this angle right here. The first thing I notice about this trapezoid is it's marked as having two sides that are congruent, and those are the legs of the trapezoid. Because those two sides are congruent, it means that this is actually an isosceles trapezoid, and so its base angles will be congruent. That means each pair of base angles will be the same measure. So the 115 degree angle, angle T, will be congruent to angle R, so angle R is also 115 degrees, and angle A and angle P will also be congruent. Another thing I know is that the four interior angles for any quadrilateral will add up to 360 degrees. So that means these four angles must add up to 360 degrees. So if I call angle A X, then angle P will also have to be X. And I know that when I add all of these up, 115 plus 115 plus X plus X, it has to equal 360 degrees. Now I can solve this equation for x in order to get my answer. So combine like terms and you get 230 plus 2x equals 360. Then minus 230 from both sides and you get 2x equals 130, which means x equals 65. So our answer is the measure of angle A, which we defined as x over here, equals 65 degrees. At this point, let's jump to example C. In this example, it says, find x. All figures are trapezoids with the mid-segment. So remember what a mid-segment is. It's the segment that's created when you take two midpoints of the legs and connect them. So because that's a midpoint, it means that this segment would be congruent to this and this congruent to this. Now the way it works is that the mid segment, the length of the mid segment is the average of the length of the bases. So for the first one, since we're trying to figure out the actual mid segment, we take the two bases, which are 12 plus 26, and average them in order to get x. So 12 plus 26 is 38, and 38 divided by 2 is 19. So that means x equals 19. And if you think about it, that should make sense, because 19 is the number exactly in the middle of 12 and 26, and it should look like the mid-segment is in the middle of the lengths of 12 and 26. All right, now for part B, we're asked to find one of the base lengths. So x is going to be in a different part of our equation. 24 is the length of the mid-segment, which means that 24 is the average of x and 35. So x plus 35 divided by 2 has to equal 24. This is an equation we can solve. The first thing we should do is multiply each side by 2, and that cancels out the dividing by 2. So we have x plus 35 equals 48. Then we just have to minus 35 from both sides. And we get that x equals 13. And again, that should make sense. It definitely should have been a number smaller than 24 and 35. And the difference between 24 and 35 is 11, and the difference between 13 and 24 is also 11. So it makes sense.